this is Jamie Magritte. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. Let's get started here. Got stuff on my desk that doesn't need to be here, but that's all right. Okay, I'm going to be using Rich Razzleberry Polished Pink Parakeet Party Ink. I For my cardstock, I have a one and three quarter by four inch piece of white, a two by four and a quarter inch piece of gold, and uh, this one's a rose gold color. The card is the gold color. It's gold and rose gold six by six designer series paper, a two by four inch piece of polished pink, a three and a half by four inch piece of white. A four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of rich razzleberry in which I, I cut a circle out of. And my card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. I'm using my layering uh, circles, the fourth and the fifth fourth and the fifth from the largest. Um, the fourth one I've cut out of the rich razzleberry from the center of that and the fifth one is the circ layering circle to go on top of it which we're going to stamp on. I've used this bow from Country Wreaths dies. I've cut one from the, um, the rose gold shimmer foil and one from a scrap of the rich razzleberry. You could also cut that from the center of that piece if you wished. Okay, these I cut two of. It's from the painted labels dies. Okay, I'm also going to be using the stripes and splatters 3D embossing folder. I'm using the splatter one. And the sentiment is and the images are from ringed with nature. I'm just using this flower, the center of that flower, and this leaf. Okay, so let's get started. Put this aside. Let's bring this piece in. This is the one and three quarter by four inch piece of white. I'm going to bring in rich raspberry ink. And a thinking of you sentiment. So you can put any sentiment that would fit in that space you'd like. And I'm going to stamp it at the bottom over on the right hand side. Perfect. Okay. And then let's find the circle. That's what we're going to do our other stamping on. And we're going to start with the polished pink and this flower. I'm going to stamp that flower right in the center of it. Oh, that didn't come out very well. Let me turn it over. Try that again. Make sure it's inked up well. better. Okay, then we're going to take the center, the little dots, the rich raspberry. Go ahead and stamp that. Okay, we can close the rich raspberry and the polished pink. Now we're going to come in with this leaf here and we're using Parakeet Party. Real fun bright green. Probably should have a scrap paper. Bring one in here. Because we are going to stamp off a little bit. Okay, so we're going to determine which way we want our leaf to go. We're going to stamp it once, solid, or right from the ink pad. Without re-inking, we're going to turn it a little bit and stamp it again. We're going to do that in three different locations. 
stamp it first generation turn it a second generation again and one more in this spot stamp it turn it and stamp it again awesome just make sure that you're not if you, uh, let's do it on the back of this so you can see if I stamped it like here where some of it was hanging off and I went backwards to stamp the second generation you would see a line there where it was solid ink where it, you just want to avoid doing that okay That's our inks We've got all our stamping done so now let's bring in this piece which is three and a half by four inches and we're going to bring in the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine so mess up. turn it this way so you can actually see what I'm doing and the only plate you need is plate one and plate four because this is a 3d embossing folder says here for 3d embossing folders okay so we're going to put our paper in our 3d embossing folder and you want to make sure at least the top part or one part of it is completely in the folder it's going to hang out just a little bit okay we're going to place that on there so the plate on top we're going to run that through our machine there we go it should look like that it's going to have a little piece here that doesn't have embossing but that's all right because we'll be covering that up. Okay. Now we should have all of our elements to make this card. Let's bring everything in. Let's start by layering our pieces together. This we're going to use our wet glue for this part. I'm going to put glue on the back of this. You don't want to use too much because you don't want it to ooze. Center it up on the rich razzleberry circle. And as this is a circle, you can just turn it so it doesn't matter which way you do it. And this piece here is going to get adhered to this. And again, I'm using wet glue. There's going to be an uh, eighth of an inch border because it's a quarter of an inch larger than the stamped layer. Okay, turn that over. There we go. Now, we're going to go ahead and adhere this piece right to the front of our card. And this is four and a quarter by five and a half. It's same size as the front of the card. Okay. Now we're going to put dimensionals on the back of this. Oh no, this one, this one got glued flat. Okay, so this one's going to get glued flat down here at the bottom. So let's put the wet glue here. And again, I want that quarter inch or eighth of an inch seam because it's a quarter inch smaller than the space. Okay, then I'm going to come in with this piece here. 
This is going to do the same thing at the top. You want to make sure that edge that is not embossed is at the bottom. So we'll make sure we have that border and you kind of want to make sure that these line up here. I mean it doesn't have to be perfect but it helps. Okay now we're going to take this piece. We're going to put dimensionals on the back of it. Before we do that let's go ahead and adhere these to it. So let's move this aside for a minute so I don't get glue on it. And I want one on this top edge and one on this bottom edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a little tiny bit of glue here. And I'm going to hover over it. Where I get it where I want it. I'm going to go ahead and put it down. press. Let's do the same thing on this one. A little bit of glue here. Hover over it. And then press. Okay. Now let's turn this over and put some dimensionals on the back. Excuse me. Put one in each corner. I'm going to go ahead and put six. And poke them so that the backing flips up a little bit. Take that backing off. card in again. And this is going to get centered right over the top of the seam here so you can determine how much of this pink you want to show. So I'm going to put it right about there and it goes side to side the whole front of the card. Okay, now we're going to bring in this piece and we'll put that right there. You could raise this up again if you wanted. Maybe I will for this one. Let's try it. The original card, I just left it one layer high. I mean, popped up one layer high. I'll put some dimensionals on the back of this one. Determine where you want it. I think I want it this way this time. You know, because I need the bow to be there. So go ahead and put that down. Make sure it doesn't hang off the edge of the card. Okay, now let's bring in our bows. And for these, now this one we can use the wet glue right in the center. Actually, we could probably use it for both of them. I'm going to adhere that down here. And then this one here, I'm just going to fluff it up just a little bit using my fingers to curve that bow just a little bit and between my thumb and my finger and pushing that up and then I'm pushing down on my holding it here and pushing down. It just gives it a little bit of a curve. Put a little glue in the center. You could use a glue dot here. And then I'm going to stagger it just a little bit so there's a little bit of a shadow behind it. And my pokey, my take your pick tool is, so I'm just going to grab this one. I'm going to see if I can push this down just a hair. Nope, it's not going to move. It's already stuck. All right. Now we're going to finish it off with some gems. Now on this card, I just used some out of my stash. They're not stamping up. Let's go ahead and try these. I don't know if those would work. Let's look. They're kind of bright. I'm not sure I like those. I'm going to go ahead and use what I did. 
I have one that is got a sticker thing on the back. I think they're made for uh, adhering with a heat tool to bedazzle things. Put one up here. And I've got these smaller pink ones. Put one up here with that. And then I'm going to put one over here. Now you could use it to dot this eye. Maybe I will. Let's do that. Oh no, there's two eyes. That's why I didn't. It's there, so it's stuck. So. Can I get it? Yay! So that's why I didn't. There we go. There's the card we just made together. Here's the one I did previously. Well, thank you so much for joining me today at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.